And we're back. Let's talk to Rukil. You can either talk to Rukil or Iggy, or depending on if you want light side or dark side points. Rukil, of course, gives you light side, and Iggy gives you dark side. Welcome back, Upworlder. How goes your quest? Have you found the journals of my father and grandfather? I have all three journals. Here, take them. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the promised land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. True kill. What do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The promised land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many ghoul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. Journey to the promised land is long and arduous. At least he didn't say long and hard. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Rukil, and good luck. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen. But the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. And this just shows the outcasts leaving the Undercity to go and search for the Promised Land. I guess they have to go through more mutant infested holes to get to the Promised Land where robots will satisfy their every need. But we are done with the Undercity, which is good because no one is here anymore. So now we're going to go to the Lower City Cantina and talk to Zax because he has several side quests for us to get. So I'm going to cut until I am at Zax. See you in a second. And we're back. We're in the Lower City Cantina or Javiar's Cantina and we're about to talk to Zax to activate our other side quests. Not seen you before. You're looking for work. We have bounties. Ooh, bounties. Uh, of course you could turn the Rat Ghoul Serum in here, but we're not going to do that. We're not Dark Siders this time. Tell me about the bounties. And we get Basil and Karth butting heads yet again. I swear, they just need to beat each other down. Well, it's my experience that the targets of these bounties are usually criminals themselves. So don't get all in a twist over it. I don't get in a twist if I think it's called for Karth. I'd like to get her in a twist. If you know what I mean. All right, Selvin and Bendak are government contracts. I can't see anything wrong. So they're wanted by the government. As long as we don't end up on the list of your victims. Uh, Dia, we met Dia. She attacked Holden. Now there's for a man named Largo, but <clears throat> we took care of that bounty during the main quest. Found Largo in the upper city apartments and just gave him some money, and that's pretty much it. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And then there's Matric. Or Matric. Don't know how you say it. Okay, but I'll be going now. So he has uploaded all that information into our data pad. We only have, I think, one, two, four bounties to do since we finished... Largo's bounty. 
but uh, yeah, so we're going to go into the lower city apartments now for the first time. And there are enemies in the lower city apartments, but if you're doing the side quests after the main quest on Terrace like I am, then the enemies will just be big fat pushovers. Seriously, they won't cause any problem at all. So, the first lower city apartment I'm going to go to is right here. And I believe this apartment has Selvin in it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all of the items and defeat all the enemies off screen. And just save uh, the part for Selvin or and Matrick in the other apartment and do that on screen. So, see you guys in just a second at Selvin. And here we are. This is where Selvin is. This is her apartment. So let's just bust the door down. Could just use Hearth and use his security skill, but that's too fancy. There she is. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? I was just exploring. I didn't know anyone was in here. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. Oh yeah. I gave you a chance to get What you going to do now, huh? Alone. But I guess you're just too stupid to take oh, it. Oh no. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. No, she didn't just call us stupid. Let's see how li she likes flurry. <laughs> Not bad. Very easy at this point in the game. A little pushover. Deadly assassin, my ass. Oh, seriously, if you face her early in the game, then she will probably destroy you. But uh, one last part in this uh, in this apartment. There's a steel strong box. Where you would usually have to read a lot of text to enter the strong box. But I happen to know all the answers. As sad as it is. Pet name, Hyperdrive. Who taught him? My uncle. Where are they from? Alderaan. Welcome, Elin. Alright. That's it. You can get all that. Alright, now for the other apartments. I'm going to cut to the entrance of the apartments just to show you guys where it is. So, just see you guys in just a second. And we are back. This is the entrance to the other lower city apartments. And same plan as last time. I'm going to do all the fighting and collecting items off screen and put Matrick on screen. So, see you guys in a second. And here we are. Matrick's door. So we're just going to break it down. And there's Matrick. Can't come in here. It's a private apartment. What are you doing in here? It looks abandoned. It None of your business. Just turn around and go back the way you came if you know what's good for you. Are you in some sort of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, it didn't work. It's not something you want to get mixed up in. Uh, don't get upset. I'll go now. So I think all I need to do now is just talk to him again, and it'll work. Back in. Tell me again why you're hiding here. My name is Matrick. You swear for the exchange, but all the violence... And killing started to get to me. I knew what I was doing wrong. My testimony helped put some of the biggest criminals on Terrace away for life, but Davik didn't like it. Maybe there's somebody I can help you get out of this mess. Not much anyone can do. So could get up running. Uh, maybe you could fake your own death. I've already thought of that, but he can't do it while he's hold, hold up in there. Tell me your plan. My, I might be able to help you out. The trick is getting Davik to buy it. When there's nobody, so a massive explosion, he needs an accomplice, he has some demolitions experience from my own, from his days as in the exchange, Ugh, I can't talk, need to get his hands on a, on a permacrete detonator, I could get a permacrete detonator, don't sell him in the lower city, but the upper city might carry him, might want to look there first. Okay, so we need to go to the Upper City Store. That is pretty far away, so I'm going to cut until I am 
Well, first we're gonna stop by the medical room or medical area and drop off the Rattle Serum, and then we're gonna be in the shop. So, cutting to the medical area. See you guys in just a second.